Welcome to our exploration of SIMPI, a powerful tool for symbolic mathematics in Python. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers about the behavior of integer symbols in SIMPI. They ask, why does SIMPI allow the definition of integer symbols but seem to ignore their integer nature during operations? Let's dive into the details and see what we can uncover. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. Let's analyze the issue with SimPy's handling of integer symbols. You defined an integer symbol n and used it in a definite integral. The result of your integral suggests that n can take on a value of negative one half, which contradicts the integer attribute you assigned. This behavior occurs because SIMPI does not enforce the integer constraint during symbolic operations. To address this, we can use assumptions. You can modify your symbol definition to include assumptions that explicitly state n must be an integer. Here's how to do it. Finally, reevaluate the integral with the updated symbol definition. This should prevent SIMPI from returning non integer results. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Declaring the symbol n as an integer in SymPy mainly helps with simplifying expressions. The assumption system allows you to specify properties like being positive or imaginary, but it won't simplify unless those assumptions are met. However, assumptions are not necessary to match the input of a function. So in your case, you don't need to specify that the n is an integer. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.